What's up, Dirty Scribbles Cones? What's up, Cones? How are you? I'm doing well. How are you today? I'm awesome. Really? Yeah. It's a nice day. It's a very nice day. It's an awesome day. For Texas. For being where we are geographically. <laughs> but pretty good. It's not too bad. Nice trees. Look at that. Look at that deer running out there. No people. No humans. Only animals. Oh, a couple. We had some conversations with some cows. That cow was talking to you. No. Yeah. She wanted to let me touch her, but she wanted to. She didn't but, trust me. Because uh, she knows she, people eat eat cows. She knows how you like your steak. <laughs> Actually, how do I like my quail? That's what we should do tonight. We can do that. Mm. That sounds good. Quail would be good. If you have not had quail, you should try it. It's the best tasting chicken I've ever had. <laughs> it's your favorite kind of chicken. It's my favorite kind of chicken. Because everything tastes like chicken. Bacon wrap, cream cheese stuffed quail. Yeah, with barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a little bit just like just, baked on. Oh. Yeah. And you can get that at Saltgrass mm -hmm. in San Antonio. Today's episode is sponsored by Saltgrass. Saltgrass. With three locations ready to serve <laughs> you. Take out available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're under 18 and looking for a soccer group to join, the Juventus. J U V E N T U S. Uh, world premier coaches from Europe oh. come to San Antonio to teach football. Really? Yeah. Right now? Right now. Wow. Should jump on that. Should jump on that. Good opportunity. Yeah. Should... Keep that trigger for right now. We're going to do a little bit. Oh, we're going to keep going. Well, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're filming okay, and talking. Good idea. I apologize. We have a little bit of time. Yeah, we're good. So that we can show. So. We're planning on doing like maybe a ruck out here, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and it would be a nice place to ruck and then camp, yeah. and then uh, drink wine and read poetry to each other around the campfire, like the Portland team. <laughs> hey, why not? <laughs> so the the Portland guys. Yeah. I think I told you about that. They yeah. they read poetry to each other. You tell me the story because I forget. Oh, well they. They like to drink wine and read poetry Is to like each other. Is it like a club where it's just like, it's they just happen the, to all have that common interest? I think they all just are from Oregon. Very progressive. Very progressive. state. Whereas the uh, the Florida team likes to sit around and pass around the cough syrup. There it is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the contrast. It's a very good contrast. Because it's, it's kind of funny. You got seals drinking seals beer and getting seals. in trouble. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Lots of craziness. Lots of crazy things. And unpredictableness. And oh, I, I would like to thank the three Italian rescue swimmers yeah. not working with us. That's super cool. Yeah. And and. Grazie. Grazie. Oh, I even told them, ciao," <laughs> and they were like, "Ciao." <laughs> In fact, they came out there driving out the Bandera oh. to, uh, they're like, we are looking for a cowboy town. Where <laughs> where will we see? We want to shoot guns. Really? And we want to to experience a traditional Texas cowboy town. That's I said, so well, funny. then I think you're good. That's mm -hmm. There are a lot of cows up here. Mm -hmm. When cows attack. When cows attack. They're not even near the water. Look at that mouthful. Uh, when I was going through... Uh, my finishing school at Paris. Yeah. Um, finishing school. They, they had, um, <laughs> they had cows on some of the trails that we walked. Yeah. And one of the guys had never seen a cow before. What? And he comes over the radio that he was trapped by this cow. <laughs> and we're all, I'm laughing because I'm like, they just look at you. Don't worry, they won't attack you. This cow's gonna attack me. Really? Yeah, when does because he'd never seen a cow before. He grew up in uh, a Florida city. Not everyone has the opportunity to see a cow. Ah. Wow. Cows they can be scary looking because they get that like defiant look about them. Yeah, but they're just cows. But they're just cows. They're like all the sheep. Dude, sheep don't attack. Sheep don't attack. Sheep just <laughs> meh. Chew and make a thing. Yeah. yeah I don't think I've ever seen no sheep attack. A goat, but not a sheep. A goat, yeah, yeah. Not a sheep. Armadillos. Have you actually seen a live armadillo? I have never seen one, but I've seen videos of people being chased by them. They're out here. 
and then shooting it with a forty five. Oh no. And then it ricochets and then kills their grandmother oh my God. or shoots somebody in the trailer next door. Yeah, they're like little um yeah, they're dangerous. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they are out here. Maybe we could like find a bunch of uh armadillos and we can make like body armor. Uh-huh. Yeah. So like how So that way we could go to Walmart and not get shot. We'll be safe when we we'll take our safe. Walmart trips. We'll go to Walmart trips. It might come down to that, or we'll have to start wearing our body armor out. Wow. Well, I, well, I think it already has come down to that. At least you'll know. Yeah. Is that the America we've come to? Unfortunately. When you just can't go to Walmart and get your groceries or your toilet paper. Isn't their life bad enough Isn't if they're shopping at Walmart? Isn't Walmart in that blue, white, horrible light? Although Betty White works at the Walmart by the house. Oh, does she? Yeah, I, she's this real nice little old lady. Yeah. We always have good conversations. That's funny. Nice. Though she has some good stories. And what's funny is she's from um, whatever same uh-huh. town as 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 the real one. Really? Yeah. That's funny. And looks just like her. That's really funny. Uh, my grandmother always reminded me. It's supposed to rain. So the theme of the weekend okay. were the cones. What'd you get? Back to basics. Uh, because they're all like, why am I trying to do? Or why are you trying to do a 50 meter underwater if you can't even do five 130s in a row? And yeah, what's the answer to that? The answer is no. Yeah. If you can do 10 130s in a row, then you can do okay, a 50. Fine. But this is where you have to start at the beginning. You can't just hop in. Uh, you can't do three ten ups by yourself and think that okay, I'm good to go. No. I mean, technically you could, but you have to do much more than that. You got to put it into work. You you can't just. No. Oh, okay, I got this. Now I'm ready to move on. Yeah. Now I because I do say that if you can run a mile, you can run twenty six of them. If you can swim a lap, you can swim. 4,000 of them, so there, there's that, but like as a whole, how did I get to where, I, if I can swim one, I can swim 100, because I swam 100, so I, you know, yeah. and I think they're just not used to suffering, or, we have to go through the rigors of endless technique, and foundational work, just, that's where it all starts.
See what I'm saying? Yep. There, and, and never at any one point have I ever thought I, I got this. I, I think I can handle this. Yep. Um, well, no, no, right, sorry, as a student. Mm -hmm. There have been situations, you know, voicing and doing stuff with people where I got this. But I got this because I'm prepared, trained, and, um, and happy. Right, confident in your training. Versus as a student, I was just waiting to die every day. Yeah, every day. But I was going to die doing what I loved, so it didn't matter. It okay. And, uh, you know, I think death scares people. It does more than I realized it did. I, because that's the way these people live. They live in a world of fear. Everything is made by fear. Everything is ruled by fear. Um, everything they do... It's, it's TSA that's all this crazy stuff when you go to a football game or something and the metal detectors are, it's all fear which is what we're writing about what I'm writing about in the newsletter this month fear the action of fear and what it does creates more fear fear is a mind killer yeah and a dream killer and a dream killer and will the ultimate provokes anxiety and Yeah, not be fear based. Oh. I think there's nothing wrong being safety oriented. But then it's not a fear. No. I'm just gonna be reserved. I yeah. think of it as uh, respectful. signs yeah. but as a whole um, 
my path's my path. Yeah. And it's different. And they could be parallel or they could be 180. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're all... So listen to people yeah. and, and be like, okay, that sounds, I can use that mm -hmm. or I can't use that. But definitely try, you know. Give everything a try. But short steps, small steps, long steps, mm -hmm. right? You do whatever works for you. And if it's if if it's stupid but it works, mm -hmm. it's not stupid. Mm -hmm. It's yours. It's yours. Yeah. And that's what you need to make your life genuinely yeah. yours. Yeah. Don't let someone label you or put you in a box and say this is what you are. You're whatever you want to be. Yeah. Sturdier, Texas. but I mean, like the help, the 